or a better idea, stop the train. Are you not gonna stop? What's wrong? Wait, 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 wait. Hello, welcome back to KJ Game Network. I'm Austin. This is Factorial Mod Madness episode 26. We are building rail signals and we are gonna get two trains on this one line. And I, I don't like how we got this set up. I'm gonna remove this. Just this one line. I think it'd be confusing trying to get the trains to actually work right. So we got that. Now we need to fix this one. There we go. I think it's connected. Let's check. Okay, good. It's connected. Okay. So, rail signals are basically like a block. You're basically creating a block that it won't enter in unless it's empty. So right here, we're going to put... Uh, let's do one right here and here. And then we'll do here and here. This will make it so this one, it will go this way until it hits a block. Once it exits, exits out of the block, it can enter. So we're going to put one right here. Oh, how about right there? So about right here. And then we're going to create a block right here in front of this guy. So we got a block right here. Now we're going to create a block right over here too. So if there's a train in the block, it won't be able to go anywhere. Actually, let's move this down a little. So this is red saying no one can go this way because there's a train over here occupying this block. But the train can freely go this way because it's green. This means anything at the moment can go this way because it's empty. Plus, I don't have a block over here, so that's also why. So we'll go ahead and walk down here and we'll go ahead and place a block. You don't want to place a block at anywhere in this space because then the train will end up sending both trains towards each other. You'll want to put it at the next intersection. So if we walk all the way over here, we'll go ahead and get up to this intersection. And what you'll want to do is you'll do this. Put one right here, and here, here, and here. This means there's nothing in this block at the moment. So we'll go ahead and put one more right here make this its own block and we'll make this one its own block as well. So now we can go get our train, we'll go ahead and tell one to go over here to this place and one to go over to where we were a second ago. Almost there. We're going to tell this train over here it's going to go to Forging Banana which is the iron pickup site We'll have it stay there for 20 seconds, and then it's going to go back to the main line. And it's going to stay there for 30 seconds. And then this coal one, we're going to actually be inside of it. It's going to go to the power plant. So we'll go ahead and tell this guy to go off. So he's going to go ahead and go. We'll go ahead and get in this plane, this train quickly, and we'll go ahead and tell it to go to the power plant. Now. Go now. I don't know what's going. Okay, let's try this. You are going to go to the power plant. Go. There we go. Now it's going. Okay. So this just turned red because we are entering this block. This right here is telling us we can go because there's nothing in the block. So we're over here. See? The train's going to go on its own block. So once we get here, I'm going to tell it to, to go back. It's only going to stay there for five seconds. So, one, two, three, four, five. No? Okay, there we go. Now it goes. I'm gonna actually slow down time. That might be pretty good. Yeah, maybe a little faster. Uh, this will be good. It's just gonna be a little laggy, or, well, not really laggy, but going back and forth. So, this says that there, this block is full. So we're going to go this, it's going to tell us this block is full. And then it's going to tell us that this one's empty, so we're going to go ahead and go. Now those two blocks are open, this one's full. Slow down a little bit more, just so we can see this as it happens. Or a better idea, stop the train. Are you not going to stop? What's wrong? Wait, 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 wait. The train is going to crash. It has crashed. Okay. So, 
we're going to do this. So this tells us, because since we uh, turned off the uh, thing on it, to make it, uh, we told it to stop going. So this is saying both blocks are full, so we're going to go straight. We're actually kind of stuck. I did make a save before we do this with the correct one, how I did it the first time. Okay, that thing's going to rear end us, because we don't have a block. So we're going to go over here. You stupid thing, don't hit me. Ah, dang it, we're going to have to pry it loose, tell it to stop, delete this, pull up a little bit, so we're in his block, so it says no, he can't enter. So we'll go ahead and tell him to run train. So he won't be able to go because he is stuck, because we're in his block. So now we're going to go right here, and this is going to say we're in the block. So he won't be able to go anywhere. So now if we can easily back up the right way, no that's the wrong way, the right way, there we go, we're going to enter out of his block and then he will be free to go. So this is how it pretty much works. So I did get it to work so we'll go ahead and load that up real quick. So this is the one that works. So we're going to go ahead and tell this train to spend 60 seconds at both. He can go ahead and travel to the power plant because he has a pretty much a big load on him. Uh, actually coal mine, mine more about uh, 30 seconds at the coal mine. And 30 seconds power plant just so it goes back and forth continuously or stay a little longer at the power plant. Yeah, that might be the best thing. We'll just do 35-35. Okay, we'll tell that train to go ahead and go. He can run. Free. Go ahead and tell him to go. As for this one over here, we don't really use it, we don't really need to use it. But instead of making an X cross, I was thinking a minute ago, maybe we should just make an X cross, put it rust against here, that'd be pretty much a little pain. Just maybe make this go right here and make a second line. Something like that. But we don't really need to at the moment. At all. We, we, we don't even use this train. It was just here for demonstration purposes. So we're going to go ahead and tell it to stay at 14 banana about 30 seconds. The main line, 30 seconds. We can just have it turned off for now. We don't really need it. We don't even really need labor camp. We got about 400, 600. Go ahead and end this a little bit. There we go. So now we have two lines on there. So as for this, this one's coal. And we're going to have to go grab some from our coal thing right here. Okay, we don't need any iron or steel on us, so all we need to do now is either work on the iron highway or, because we're pretty much done with copper, or coal, sorry, coal, it's coal. Our coal now is 81, 82, and rising. We may just go ahead and build a whole new system right here in this area, which to do that I'd say we'd go about right here, go straight across, back and forth, then have a loop up here. I think that'd be probably the best way to do it. If not, just go straight down, straight up, and across. Either one. We may have to upgrade, so we'll do do that later on. For coal, we have a pretty big system. Got a couple of thousand. Oh yeah, we got alien artifacts, so we'll go ahead and put that in our storage chest up here without running into a train. Okay, there we go. We didn't run into a train and we safely put our alien artifacts off to the side. Let's go ahead and go collect our, uh, what is it, uh, laser turrets. And let's also figure out what the problem is with this over here. What are you low on? You need advanced electronic circuits. Why aren't you getting advanced? Weren't we just... I think we have it set up to request them. Where's our advanced electronic service? There you are. Let's get our, uh, let's move some stuff out of our inventory. Stuff that we don't need at the moment. Such as this rail stuff. Let's get a active provider. What are you requesting? You're requesting, oh, plastic bars. That's why you haven't been making any. 
What do I want to take some of these just for now? We'll go ahead and get a requester. We're going to need two requesters. Go ahead and make another one. Fast forward time a little bit. There, we got our requester chest, and so now it will drop off stuff if it needs it. As for our batteries, is it a requester? No, it's not. May as well just make a requester, why not? So we'll have it request like five batteries. If we can't even find the batteries. Well, I can't find them. I'm blind, evidently. Okay, that's still okay. So we got this making uh, blue now. So let's go ahead and get our. Uh, it's going to make an active provider. That's a passive provider. What's the difference? Passive provides its contents to requesters. We'll probably want those instead of uh, active. Content to storages, requesters, construction player. Yeah, let's just go and change that. There, now you're passive. We'll go ahead and go down and make our one thing a passive as well. The foam bars or plastic that is. And this needs more coal. And we don't have any coal. Okay. You are making. What are you making? Explosive cannon shells. You need steel. Okay. Just go ahead and drop me some steel. And for you, you need to become a passive provider. I think it probably should be active, just so it can it can store it in the storages. Can this store? No, just requesters, construction player, but there's too much of this, so I guess it would be a little pain. So this is going to make cannon shells, which we have enough. We're going to take some of those with us. As for over here, we have explosives going back and forth. Do you need anything? Nope, just coal. You need steel. What are you requesting? You're requesting iron. Let's request like five. You're requesting... Are you requesting nothing at all? You're putting sulfur in it. Wait, what? Oh, it's just twice the sulfur. Then the sulfur is also being used with coal. Yeah, it's okay. It has coal. That's good. So the batteries, they are passive provider. Let's make them active provider. There we go. Do these need anything else to be made? Oh yeah, they need copper. That's right. Why aren't you guys delivering copper? You're, you're just falling down on your job. Also, I don't think we've been giving it copper anyways, because we don't need any batteries, really. As for this right here, got tons of stuff, just gonna take it. Wow, this 
thing just has everything over here. At least this power station is actually finally being used. We can also go and make a robot port if we wanted to, but I kind of want to make a robot charge station. Where is it anyways? Oh well, we can also make a snake a flamethrower turret. Doesn't seem the easy. We'll go ahead and load up our ammo. Uh, where's our ammo? Put 100 in this one, and 89 in the other. As for fuel, I guess you just don't get any fuel. We'll go and put some 100 ammo in that, and right there. And we'll go and put 72 in mine, or well, 22 actually. Go ahead and run up here and drop some of our stuff off. We can probably get rid of our rock conveyor over there just because it, it takes up a lot of room. And maybe even get our highway upgraded one day and just have it look nicer. You can just take all the batteries. I don't need them. As for this chest, you're not full, you're just going to take all that. Our construction robotics 1.0 is almost done. That'll give us RoboPort MK1, which we don't even make those processing units yet. Pass Provider Chest 1, Construction Bots MK1, and other stuff, Advanced Repair. And Placed Blueprint Timeouts, 10 minutes. No idea what that does, actually. And we have some dead bodies everywhere. I don't want to grab ammo. I want to grab these dead bodies. They're everywhere. Why? There we go. Some of it anyways. As for iron, what is it doing up here? I believe it's just uh, creating a buffer and then storing it. We got a couple of, uh, maybe about... Looks like we have about 20,000. So we'll just take that, it will go off the line, go right there, and come straight down here. Which we can go ahead and hook up now, but... We probably want it running somewhere else so it just doesn't go everywhere. We probably want to hook up to our main iron line, probably. Which would be all the way over here, so... Not sure where we'd hook it up at, maybe right here. We'll probably go ahead and do that now. Or just wait and let it build up. We'll probably just wait and let it build up. Uh, let's see how much stuff we need to do this. We'll need a lot of stuff. We'll need more copper. We'll go ahead and up build an upgraded size thing of that. Or we can go ahead and... Yeah, let's just do that. Let's go ahead and place our line of iron here since we're pretty low on it. It'll be plates it's making and not really iron ore, but we do have iron ore we can send through the unit. So we'll just go ahead and connect this somehow. We'll just have to figure out where exactly we need to be. We need to probably be about right here in this area. So I'll place a chest here. Which that's not going to work out, obviously. We'll go around it. How about that? So 
we're just gonna bring this all the way down and hopefully get to our iron. Yeah, we got construction robotics. We'll just use underground conveyors. Or not. There we go. So we're gonna get some we already got fast inserters, so all we do is now connect it to the line. Or we'll probably just do a small supply and not all of it because we don't need to waste it. We just need to put some on the line. How much do you have? We can just do this bottom line right here. Be fine. And we'll go ahead and take our laser turrets up. Wow, that's already full. That's cool. Let's go ahead and put a uh, laser defense wall up along our train area, since we don't have one already. There we go. We're going to place our laser turrets. Yeah, that should work. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like if you like it, subscribe if you want to see more content Factorio or anything other that I have. Thanks for watching.